I'm Jeffrey Wright, and this is Feature Film Faves. My favorite film uh, is Apocalypse Now. Francis Ford Coppola, Martin Sheen, Carlin Brando, Robert Duvall, the young Harrison Ford, Albert Hall, uh, Lawrence Fishburne, when he was known as Larry. Just uh, the most incredible cast you could possibly imagine telling an epic story based on Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darkness, but set uh, during the Vietnam War. Mayhem, madness. I, I first saw Apocalypse, I was released in 1979, uh, but I didn't see it until I was in high school. I was introduced to it by some friends of mine when they were big, you know, kind of war buff type guys. So they introduced me to the film and I just fell deep into it. It's such an immersive film. It's an epic film. It's sweeping just from the first frame. It just pulls you in. The, the voiceover is just so uh, hypnotic and it's iconic. You know, the first frame you hear, uh, you see the fan, the fan whirring above him as he's lying in bed in some sweaty room somewhere outside, you know, somewhere uh, in Vietnam, and the, 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 the thing, and, that, and the whir of the fan becomes a helicopter. And he says, Saigon. I'm still only in Saigon, and you're off. It is an examination of war. It's, it's, it's I think, more so an examination of the madness of war. As, uh, as described by uh, William DeForest, who plays Chef, the synopsis is, never get out of the boat. Never get out of the boat. <laughs> I've probably seen uh, Apocalypse Now, I don't know, there was a period where it was kind of a ritual for me. I've probably seen, I don't know, I've seen it at least, I don't know, conservatively, maybe 75 times. <laughs> Haven't seen it in a while though. But uh, yeah, you know, in the right headspace, and go in, put the movie on, and just kind of, mm, <laughs> kind of dive in. The acting is just on another level because they were so Im immersed and committed to that process. They were really living, you know, that life to the extent that you can as actors. They were, you know, out in the jungle. I mean, they weren't living in the jungle. I'm sure they went back to their lovely uh, cabanas and things like that at the end of the day. But there's an authenticity about it that is um, is just, uh, you know, undeniable. And the script is brilliant. I mean, just the language, the imagery, uh, it's, it's, it's just poetic and, and, and weird, but smart and, you know, just kind of sparks, you know, sparked my imagination. And there's a documentary about the film and Francis Ford Coppola says to Dennis at one point, he said, Dennis, you're, 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 you, you don't know your lines. You're, you're forgetting your lines. And, and Dennis says, well, yeah, I, I, I thought that was the point, man. <laughs> you know, he was just, he's just brilliant. And then. Brando, who we find Martin Sheen has come to hunt him down and to bring him back into civilization, bring him back out of the darkness, into the light, uh, uh, so to speak. And there's a scene, there's kind of, he's in some hut somewhere, something you barely see his face, there's shadow, they don't even know, is it? Is it and I do a terrible Brando there, but he, does, he says, plucks. Are you, are you an assassin? He says, I'm a soldier. You're neither. You're an errand boy sent by grocery clucks to collect the bill. <laughs> and it's like, you know, end of scene. That's it, man. I mean, you know, apocalypse now, man.